So because those animal feeding was already cheaper, so that's what Kim Jong Un buys and let North Koreans to buy in the black market. So North Koreans have that lower standard to please. If they get just enough some animal feed, they will be happiest people on this earth. Imagine right now that Hitler is alive and he's killing Jews, Jewish people in the like gas chambers. And imagine what would you do? We are, I'm sure everybody going to be saying, oh, I'm the peace lover. Why should we go kill Hitler? Like, let's not start a war. Let's maybe have some diplomacy with him. That's what we've been doing with the Kim Jong all this time. North Korean people stand to prison camps, being in the gas chambers, in the live experiment, going through all of this. And people's, all these people talking about they are loving and peace people and saying, oh, I'm not for war, so let's do this. Like, let's maintain the status quo. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi Park. I'm a North Korean defector, human rights activist. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about the recent alliance between China and North Korea against the USA. So this is like a really complicated story, but you know, this is something for us to understand. It's a very important issue for all of us. Because China has becoming, I mean, increasingly became our opponent. It's it against everything that we stand for in this free world. The, I'm talking about Chinese regime, however. And so after Alaska meeting between China and America, right? Of course, America wanted to you know, pressure China to stop you know, abusing the, the I mean, Tibetans, Xinjiang, the province Uyghurs. And, and of course, like the Chinese was not happy about it. And of course, right now, the international community, there's gonna be a coalition between a lot of free world countries Western Europe, Australia, the USA, they really actually collectively raising their voice about concerns with the human rights abuses happening in China. And China is really not happy. And therefore, after the Alaska meeting ended, China went to Russia and then, you know, make sure that their alliance was getting stronger to against the Western, you know, uh, what do they say, oppression. And then, of course, they reached out to North Korea. And what China gets is like North Korea is their toy. They can play war to get their advantage and to also get American concessions. Right now, North Korea has been on the verge of collapsing. So I talked about there has been a lot of uprisings inside the country, right? All over in the market, in the even just like residential areas. And not only that, even in the military, the soldiers were like was so frustrated. They were like, you know, I didn't serve the country for 10 years for nothing. And because after the military service, they're done, Kim Jong-un was demanding them to go to the coal mining and literally basically dying from starvation. So a lot of people now, finally North Korea openly saying they are not gonna take it. They are not going to take this and they need a better treatment by the regime. And Kim Jong-un was pushed into the corner because he was running out of money, because of the lockdown, nothing was getting into the country and people were starving, even in Pyongyang. Even the Russian like <laughs> ambassador, the foreigners in, in Pyongyang with the dollars, with the money, they couldn't buy the basic groceries. And imagine what the elite gonna be, they are starving. Everybody was being affected by this inhumane lockdown in North Korea. And at this corner where like the soldiers are about to start a major coup, do you know what happened? China obviously saved Kim Jong-un again. So China promised to give Kim Jong-un everything that he needs to maintain his power. After Alaska meeting between the US and China, China went to North Korea and said, okay, what do you need Kim Jong-un to stay in power? And of course, Kim Jong-un's like, okay, soldiers are not happy, people are not happy, give me more materials, give me more things so I can like give them for free things so I can gain back the control again. So North Korea, <laughs> Literally last week, I mean this week I'm talking about, dedicated to build 100,000 new apartments, uh, homes for the Pyongyang people in the capital. And you, where that money is coming from? Of course China promised to give to them. So in the like, 1st of the April, next month, China is going to send uh, so many free things to North Korea, to Kim Jong-un, to gain back his uh, royalty and control from the people who are not happy. 
So that is a very concerning. Uh, I mean, Kim Jong Un is like unbelievable. He gained another 20 kilograms, like 50 pounds. So how much is the cost for Kim Jong Un to have his meal is gonna be at least cost like 10 grand per meal, at least because he drinks the most most expensive wine, the whiskey, and caviar and cheese. I mean that everything is imported in the best quality. So for him, his meal every day North Korea like easily spend like 50 grand a day. With the 50 grand a day, they literally can feed the entire city people or even two cities because the food that North Korean people want to eat is not even of course chicken or it's not like steak. Like North Koreans are just happy if they get those like corns that was like uh, designed to feed the animals. So the food that Kim Jong Un uh, imports from other countries are those food that for the made it for the animals. That's when I was shocked. Actually, when I came to America, my son loves feeding pigeons. So on Amazon, of course, I bought those grains, and they were perfectly fine grains that they, we were eating in North Korea. So because those animal feeding was already cheaper, so that's what Kim Jong Un buys and let North Koreans to buy in the black market. So North Koreans have that lower standard to please. If they get just enough some animal feed, they will be happiest people on this earth. And with these amazing people have so much trust in the government, Kim Jong Un were deserting us in this, to this degree. This is so heartbreaking. I cannot believe this evil man. Like people being so supportive of him from his grandfather, and North Korean people is not even asking for electricity not even asking for internet or freedom of traveling or speech or merely these soldiers, hungry people, children asking is some like corn that was supposed feeding the pig or cow. So China now is going to give those free things to Kim Jong-un to like stop these uprisings and people's like some coup d'etat in the army, military. And, and then they are going to support the North Korea to expand their weaponries. You guys, I mean, do you have any clue why China does that? It's because they are gonna now using North Korea as a bargain tool to convince America to drop those sanctions against the human rights abuses for you know people Uyghur and Tibetans in China. So in order for the Biden to do anything with North Korea, it's gotta be going through China. So Xi Jinping knows that as long as North Korea keep building missiles and hydrogen bombs and keep testing and playing with weapons and America has to come to China to beg. So that's, that's, his, that's a Chinese plan. They are going to deal with America and the rest of the Western Europe countries I mean, about the human rights abuses with North Korea. So now that's why we see that since like a few weeks ago, North Korea has been testing their missiles again and more and more. And until uh, America goes to Xi Jinping and begging them to, you know, stopping North Korea's missile test, then of course China gonna ask for, for concession, gonna asking you know America that drop those sanctions and be nice to us, let us do trade all those unfair trade and let us having all those unfair you know, advantages that we took before. And this is a really saddening point because I don't think there is any desire in the U.S. government to do the right thing. I think they are gonna do whatever it is, uh, like instant gratification because in our days right every politician and the, even the governments the president they don't do the things that is good for the country in the long term they do the things that gonna get them elected in the next two years or four years so this is why the country is not moving forward this is why things are falling apart in this country because the politicians are dedicating their resources and power and energy to the things that get them re-elected in the short term so even though in the long term, in long term for America and in the humanities like sake, getting rid of North Korea right now is a better thing to do. However, who wants to go to war? Like it's not popular, right? Like you don't want to be a president and remember who caused the war because people are so simple that any war for them in their mind is bad. Even though imagine right now there's Hitler is alive and he's killing Jews, Jewish people in the like gas chambers. And imagine what would you do? 
We are, I'm sure everybody gonna be say, I'm the peace lover. Why should we go kill Hitler? Like, let's not start a war. Let's maybe have some diplomacy with him. That's what we've been doing with the Kim Jong all this time. North Korean people sent to prison camps, being in the gas chambers, in the live experiment, going through all of this. And people's, all these people talking about they are loving and peace people and saying, oh, I'm not for war, so let's do this. Like, let's maintain the status quo. Well, I'm not even though saying that because I have to be sound, a reasonable, nice person. I have to keep saying that I'm not supporting war. But actually at this point, I don't, I'm not sure what is right even. Oh, in the past, I thought the war was not going to go for South Koreans and Americans because the soldiers got to die. And even though war is better for North Korean people, I thought it is not good for not other people. Like, so that's why I was saying, OK, we should never go that direction. And I don't want to be even sound like violent and person. But now I'm thinking, in the long term, this is not good for anybody. Of course, it's not good for North Korean people. It's not good for South Koreans. It's not good for Japanese. And it's not good for Americans. What are we going to do with the North Korea has a capability to blow all of us up in 10 years? How is it good for us in any way? Us is not supporting war right now? This is a real dilemma that we all should be asking because North Korea knows their game, guys. This country, this tiny little GDP, the per GDP per North Korean person is like not even a thousand dollars a year. And of course, like when it comes to real thing, that's not even that money. Like most of North Koreans in their lifetime asset, I mean, including home, everything, is not gonna be even together hundred dollars. So when I was in North Korea, when before my father went to prison and and then we considered to be really well off people because we were living in Hesan, the one of the most privileged city, and even in Hesan we we thought we did well. And our house and Entire, entire money was less than like something $80. So that's how poor North Korea's economy is, guys. And this country still being able to maintaining and developing the nuclear weapon that we, nobody thought they could. So I think it's real time that we cannot waste any second with this time that we need to preserve our freedom and safety and the world peace, finally, seriously. like. The world peace is in danger, and all these peace and the lovers not doing anything. So thank you guys for helping me to spread message, and please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel, and please share this video so more people understand the real dangers of North Korean regime, and also what is China doing in the behind the scene? What we see that country, that China, we think it was a miracle they built the economy. I mean, they did. But the thing is, there was a price war being paid by over 1.3 billion Chinese people's freedom. And that's why I think we got to be vigilant to see what is happening because our freedom can be taken away. Our safety can be taken away in any second. Thank you for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.